So I was sunbathing and it so happened that I was lying on a path of ants that were crawling. And there was no point for me to change the spot because there were so many ants all around the grass. So I decided to cope with that uncomfortable feeling and deal with it. And it was all right until one of them bit me and he bit me really hard. So I snapped him, I killed him. And that made me think of an interesting philosophical thought. If we look at it from a perspective of ants, they just mind their business, they just do their thing, they crawl around, and then out of nowhere, a human body appears. Me, a human skin that they can explore. And as us, they are really persistent, and they do explore. And some of them end up dead because they bit me. And if we apply it to us, humans, we should be really careful where are we going, what we're exploring, what we're experimenting with, with things we shouldn't be experimenting, because we might end up dead like those ants. The thing is that we're fine until we bite the realm of gods, if we can say, like those ants bite the skin of human. Like for ants, for us, they are also higher beings, a higher energy that we probably are not aware of. You can call it whatever you like, angels, demons, gods, and that energy that beings are lived by their own law, by their own rules and nature that we cannot control, which we don't even see and comprehend because our body is limited. Same as ants, and they probably see us as higher energy because when we blow at them, you know, when we push them away, we can kill them at any second from any direction. They don't even know. They don't really see us. They don't probably understand the concept of human, right? So it is the same for us and the higher beings. We don't see them, we don't comprehend them, they're just there. And until we venture into the places of their realm, like the ants do to us, we will be fine. And I'm not only talking about the material world, like going to other planets and maybe exploring this planet, but also a spiritual, like a lucid dreaming or out-of-body experience, also a science form of it, which is you know, us trying to control weather and us cloning other people, which we should not really do or should really be careful doing. Because that realm is under law of higher beings, I would say. The law of nature. And that is an interesting philosophical thought to play with. Uh, might sound like a science fiction, might be not true, but maybe it will make you see the world or think of the world from another perspective and so forth so that will be all i hope i didn't miss anything but anyway thanks and see you soon